One of the most famous giant crocodiles of all time is a man-eating Nile crocodile named Gustav. Gustav is a Nile crocodile who lived in Lake Tanganyika and has reportedly been killing people since 1987. He gained a lot of attention over time and it was even claimed he had a kill count of over 300 people. Not only that, he gained a near mythical status, with other claims ranging from him being bulletproof to supposedly eating an entire hippo. However, something that was undeniable was how huge this crocodile was. Out of all the crocodiles seen in this territory, he was obviously the biggest, a true boss croc. If you want to learn more about the history of this crocodile and if he's still alive, you can watch my previous Gustav video. But for now, let's focus on how big this giant actually was. Gustav's size is something of legendary status, and many have even suggested he's the largest now crocodile ever documented. When it comes to visual estimates from locals, some have claimed he is anywhere from 30 to 40 feet long. To compare this to other species, that's a size that is comparable to extinct relatives such as Dinosuchus. Historically, there have been claims of very large modern day species of crocodiles reaching this size, including Niles, but the evidence is limited and not conclusive. However, once a documentary crew was sent to Burundi to focus on this crocodile, a better but not 100% clear perspective of this crocodile's size was shown. Footage from this documentary showed Gustav next to some adult hippos, and while it shows he is massive, the 30 to 40 foot claims are definitely wrong. Patrice Faye, the man who named Gustav and studied him for several years, thought that Gustav was around 18 to 21 feet long. The footage shown here is when Patrice was able to get somewhat close to the crocodile. Later on in the documentary, another scientist by the name of Dr. Allison Leslie also saw Gustav and believed him to be about 18 feet long. However, the problem with these two assertions is that the length of Gustav was estimated based on visual estimates. Even experts have a hard time telling the exact size of a crocodilian from a distance, and it doesn't help either that Gustav is a very heavy set individual. No matter how long a crocodile is, if it's a bulkier animal, it is going to look longer than a thinner one of the same length. Therefore, these visual estimates only give us a rough idea of how big he is. It also does not help that there is very limited data on 20 foot plus crocodilians. Only one 20 footer has ever been seen and studied alive, so it's very hard to tell if Gustav is a 20 foot animal. However, there is one man that may be the most qualified to tell if Gustav is around 20 feet. That man is Mark Onswana, a crocodile expert who is most likely the only person in the world to see both Gustav and Lolong when they were alive. Mark was part of the documentary crew along with Faye and Leslie to capture Gustav and was able to see just how big he was for multiple days. Mark was also brought over to the Philippines to help with the captive care of Lolong, who was 20 feet 3 inches long shortly before he died. Therefore, he was able to spend some time and truly appreciate just how big of a crocodile Lolong was. With these two experiences in mind, Mark is perhaps the only person to get a good grasp on how big Gustav was compared to a true 20 footer. When asked how big he believed Gustav was, Mark truly did believe that Gustav was around 20 feet, a true monster croc. In addition to this, he believed that the overall size difference of an 18 foot versus a 20 foot crocodile was massive. Of course, this is still based on rough visual estimates, but this adds more credibility to just how big Gustav was. While I personally have not found a way to tell just how big Gustav is, such as head ratios, which at least for salties now seems to be an imperfect method, I found at least one source that tried to find this out. Through several methods, including but not limited to looking at the documentary footage comparing Gustav to other crocodiles and the hippos he was with, this article estimated Gustav to be around 18 to 19 feet long. The author also listed the ratio of this crocodile to be around 1 to 8, which is a larger ratio for now crocodiles and fits with the older theory of larger crocodiles having smaller heads compared to the rest of their body. It must be noted as well that Gustav appears to have a very wide head, which is a good indicator of his size. As mentioned in another recent video of mine, a common factor with at least saltwater crocs is larger individuals appear to have wider jaws, and this seems to be a better indicator than skull length to determine a crocodile's total body length. While it must be acknowledged that large Niles have naturally broader jaws than large salties, it is undeniable that Gustav has large jaws for a Nile. While we will not be able to tell just how big Gustav is until we actually measure him, I believe there is no denying he is one of the largest Nile crocodiles ever caught on video. God only knows how big this beast was. 
to learn more about the animals you just saw by the second edition of What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians. It examines claims of giant crocodiles, a World War II massacre, regenerating tails, alligators in the sewers, their record land speeds, and more. The book examines claims many, including experts, get wrong about these animals, and the second edition includes updated information, pictures, and more. Buy What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians, the second edition, in physical or digital formats. Link in bio, comments, or description to buy.